Hey guys, I'm Amy. Welcome to our new series called Doors. We're so glad that you're here joining us this week. In this series, we're learning all about choices and how the choices we make can affect our lives. The doors you see throughout this series will represent choices. Some of these doors will lead to bad choices, while others will lead to good. The Bible tells us that when we put our trust in God, He will show us which door to go through. To help us better understand this, we are going to sing a song about our memory verse, which is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all that you do, and He will show you which path to take. Let's sing it together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. And he will show you which path to take. Whoa. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do. And He will show you which path to take. Whoa. That was a great song. That worship song teaches us that we can look to God for answers when making choices. Sometimes it can be hard to know what the right choice may be in certain situations, but the Bible tells us that we can always ask God for help. Now, we're going to watch our Bible story where we'll learn about how we can make the right choice. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible, The Temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey! If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. Uh. 
Then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. Ow. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. What a great Bible story. This Bible story helped us to learn more about the significance of our choices and how every choice we make has an impact on other parts of our lives. Now we're going to watch a short story about a kid who has the opportunity to choose between the right choice or the wrong choice. Let's watch and see what happens. Hey guys, welcome back to our series called Doors where we're learning about the power of our choices and how the choices we make every day have an impact on what happens later in our life. Well, today I'm studying and I just finished this book today. Yeah, and in the next two hours, I've got to read this one. Oh, I can do it. You know what, sometimes it's hard studying for tests and memorizing things in school. And have you ever had one of those subjects that you were studying for and you just didn't know why you needed to know it? Well, sometimes it's not necessarily what we're learning as much as it's the exercise itself. It's gaining the skill of, of learning how to learn. And that has a lot to do with what we're gonna look at today. Because today we're talking about the choice of choosing wisdom choosing the door that leads to wisdom or choosing the door that leads to foolishness. Now, sometimes people think wisdom is just book smarts, but it's not. Wisdom isn't just knowing things, but a person who's wise is someone who does have knowledge, but they put that knowledge into action and they use that knowledge to make good choices. That's what a wise person does. You know, we're going to come back and talk about that a little bit more in a few minutes. But right now, take a look at this short story.
Well, as you can see, the boy in the story, he discovered that it really was wise to make the right choice. Early on, he might not have thought that because he was under pressure, right? And he wanted to get a good grade on the test and he was tempted to cheat, but he realized that the right choice was to do the right thing and to be honest. And by doing so, he showed that he was wise. And remember I said that being wise isn't just knowing things. Yeah, you do have to know some things, but being wise is when you know things and then you put that knowledge into action by making good choices. And we can either choose the door of wisdom or we could choose the door of foolishness. And we do foolish things when we know what we're supposed to do, but we do the wrong thing anyway. You know, let me give you an example. So I had this map and I'm trying to get from here to here. And well, it's a long distance, but I'm right here and I know where I want to go. And this map clearly shows me how to get to my destination. All I have to do is follow the path that's on the map. Now, a wise person would look at the map and go, oh, okay, I clearly see how to get to my destination. But a foolish person would look at the map and go, eh, whatever. I'll get there my own way. I'll do whatever I want. Well, that's foolishness. Can you imagine? That's how people get lost. In fact, that's how I've gotten lost a few times is when I've ignored the map. But that's what God's word is for you and me. God's word is a map and it shows us the right choices to make. It outlines for us how to be wise. And when we follow God's word and we do what it says, instead of just acting on our own emotions, it shows that we're wise. Whenever we stop and we think about a choice and we think about the consequences connected to that choice, that is wisdom. We saw in our Bible story that Jesus was tempted. And when Satan came at Jesus and tempted him, each time Jesus came back at Satan with what? With God's word. That's how he defeated the enemy. And Jesus showed us what it means to be wise, to make the right choice, no matter how we feel, no matter what the circumstances are, we make the right choice. And when we do, that shows that we're wise. And just like when you ride a bike or you play a sport, the more you do it, the better you get. The same thing with wisdom. The more you practice making good choices, the better you get at making good choices. And you start to develop that as a strength. That's when you become wise. Jesus showed us that no matter what happened, he was going to make the wise choice. He was going to do what his heavenly father told him to do. That's what we should do as well, guys. We can walk through the door of wisdom by following God's word. It maps out everything for us. If we'll lean on God's word, not lean on our own understanding, just as our scripture verse says, but we trust God, we trust his word, he'll show us the right path to take. So this week, my prayer for you is that you will walk through the door of wisdom, no matter what you're feeling, no matter how you wanna react, I'm gonna pray that you will show wisdom by thinking first and then following God's word. I love you guys, we'll see you next time. Wow, Pastor Steve helped us to understand how important it is to make the right choice. Also, in the short film, we got to see how the choices the kid made affected their life. Just like the kid in the video, we must remember to make choices that honor God. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.